Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be watching a video called Catherine Pierce Solitude. This is a video about a character from The Vampire Diaries. Yeah, I'm really excited to jump into this. This is another Daddy Nagin video. I'm curious to see what elements of Catherine's story are going to be part of this video. Are they going to show probably everything from her, like, her losing her child to meeting Klaus, almost getting killed by Klaus, then choosing to be on the run for centuries. They'll probably also show, like, things like her betrayal of Rose and Trevor, and then also so her being on the run all those years and like everything like that and then her story of course with the Salvatore boys and Elena I mean that's kind of where we pick up with the story and the flashbacks just add more to her character so I presume that majority of this stuff is going to take place in modern day as well as like what is it 200 years ago or 150 years ago whatever when um, she met the Salvatore boys that being said let's get into the video I'm curious to see how this goes it's a long story Klaus and I Yep, this is her Katarina. meeting of uh, Klaus, yeah. Katarina. Katarina. Must be Miss Pierce. Please. I was taken with him at first. Call me Catherine. Until I found out what he was. Katarina is a gone. vampire. Flat. Or, no. I mean, is Klaus technically a hybrid there? I know, like, his werewolf nature is hidden, but, like, wouldn't he still be a vampire? Or a, 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 a hybrid? That scene is scary as heck. Cutting off the, the ring on John so that he would actually die. Too much. Goodbye, John. Goodbye, John. always been a little envious of the legend that is Catherine Pierce. I almost believe she genuinely likes Oh, right. Did Rebecca never meet her? Right, because only in the flashback, I think the only people that we see are Elijah and Klaus. I don't think we see Rebecca in that story, so I guess this might be the first time somehow that they meet her. Or they, they meet one another. I mean, that's surprising because was Rebecca daggered at that point? Like, why wasn't she with Klaus? Because normally, majority of the time that she's not been daggered, she's with, been with Klaus and Elijah. So that's actually quite surprising. I wonder if there is something that I'm missing there. Was she daggered for that period of time? Like, what's going on there? Maybe she was off doing her own thing. I would presume that she was daggered since she wasn't in that story. I love her. I love her, right? Yeah, you're all stupid. She's using you all. Always. Humanity is a vampire's greatest mm -hmm. She's a vampire step is pointless to run. A monster. You have just signed out to By the way, Kevin just got I gotta say, it's so weird in this to see Harry from Dexter being Stefan and Damon's dad. It's just weird to me. But also, I think they changed the actor for the later seasons. I don't think Harry, the actor who plays Harry, plays their dad later on because I think it's like a completely different person. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Oh yeah, better you than I die than I. That's what she says to Trevor and Rose. That's just so cruel. Yeah. Oh, that's her daughter. Yeah. He will get his vengeance. And your friends? They'll all die. And anyone that you've ever loved. Oh yeah, Klaus killing Tyler's mom. That was scary. I did find your birthplace. And oh yeah, also it's Klaus's fault that Rose dies, right? It's my freedom. Somehow you're the only one that wins. How'd that happen? Yeah. Are the same. Because she doesn't really need anything. We thirst for power, we control, we punish. I have nothing. Your actions are driven by one singular place deep inside. I You're alone. That. I didn't let love get in the way. We're alone. Enjoy yep. an eternity alone, Catherine. And we hate it. My Who was she referring to that, like, was similar to herself? I don't remember that scene that well. I know she's talking to Rebecca there, but I'm not sure who she's referring to because she was saying that her and I are like the same or something. Or did she say you and I? Because if it's you and I, then it kind of makes sense if it's Rebecca as well. Because Rebecca's actions are very impulsive. She's always looking for love. And she's very quick to be angry with people, stuff like that. Which is very similar in a lot of ways to Catherine. Except Catherine's a lot more vindictive in her actions. Living a better life than I am. Yep, and she tries to steal 
Elena's body at one point. My gosh. Catherine doesn't care. Oh yeah, that's the cure whole that that whole part of the story. That was interesting. You said you were turned into a vampire 500 years ago. Give or take. And now you're gonna die. Have a nice human life. Your body's decaying. Let's just say time is catching up with you. She ruined me. And there's nothing left to do. The truth is, I've never left you. I'm not saving your life. That's cruel. I've never loved you. I've spent so much time running and lying and just to survive. Right, she's hanging out with Elijah at one point. Alone. I'm starting to believe my own. What life. happens to Nadia? Does Nadia just leave after she dies? I don't remember. Like after Catherine dies, does Nadia just disappear or does she get killed later on? But no, actually Nadia helps Catherine body jump, right? And then after that, there's this whole plot point where Nadia's upset because she decided to live not for her daughter, but all, but instead to try and get with Stefan because they had like a moment, which is hilarious. That is hilarious that that is why she decides to stick around. And it's so weird at the same time because it's like, bro, Stefan is not attracted to Elena anymore by the end of the series. It just doesn't work. It wouldn't work. There's too much drama, too much baggage there. And also, what the heck? Do you think that Damon's just going to like take that lying down? Do you think Stefan's not going to be weirded out by that? Like, it was a bad plan. Anyway, let's keep going. I heard family two years early. You stuck her head in a noose. You're the definition of damaged goods. Pushed her off the chair and snapped her neck. You still think that innocent girl... You oh, right, that's her telling her that her that's her mom. Do you think? Like Nadia I telling think Catherine that she's her mom. I'd like to think so, yeah. It'd be possible to be forgiven. Damon and I died for nothing. No, for nothing. Stephanie, you died for love. Of course I do. Uh, she's not really. Now. Like... <sighs> I don't know, does Stefan really love Catherine? The entire time he was just getting compelled. Why would he want to live? I don't know. I searched every village. It's Catherine. Every cottage. It's not you or whatever. Is that what she says? But I couldn't find you. I lost everyone. I figured it out. Way too young. This was the worst day of my life. I don't remember how Nadia actually did this. Like, how did Nadia become a traveler if she wasn't around family and she didn't learn how to be a traveler? I'm not sure. I went back. Wait a second. If... Oh my gosh, I think this is a, annoying, actually. If Catherine was a traveler, she didn't have to betray everyone. Couldn't she have just body jumped? Way back when? Like, and then her body, original body, gets killed. Klaus uses it for the sacrifice. Would that have worked? If so, that's ridiculous. That is hilariously ridiculous. And also, does is Elena technically also a traveler at that point? Because lineage-wise, wouldn't she also be a traveler? I'm not sure. I mean, it's it seems like it because she's a descendant of Catherine. Catherine was a traveler. And as a result, that would be the case. Also, do we find out about Nadia's daughter or a child? Because she would have had to have a child in order for Elena to even exist. You. You came back for me. Uh huh. I you again. I would have oh, right. That was the end of the story. Yeah. Hey, help me run. It's our turn. That was never going to be enough. Elijah, please. Better you oh, die than I. Goodbye. No wonder Elijah left you. Then I guess this is how our love All right. Ends. Stefan kills her again. Yeah. I gotta say, Catherine is such an interesting character. I wouldn't classify Catherine as traditionally evil. She's not a mustache twirling villain. It's just she's decided that after everything that she went through when she was younger, that she was going to look out for herself as the number one person. And though that can be construed as very selfish, which I would say that it is, she doesn't really find people that she's willing to sacrifice herself for. Apart from maybe you can say Nadia, but I don't really think so. I mean, she's there when she dies, but I don't know that she would really sacrifice herself for her daughter at the end. She spends so many years on the run because she decided that her life was worth more than trying to just die for the sake of someone else to protect other people. Like, at the end of the day, she would do whatever it takes to protect herself. Unfortunately, 
that type of philosophy ends up bringing you nothing but nothing but loneliness and then also you really don't have anything to fight for apart from yourself and it's really really sad her story is actually very very sad i mean she lost her child and it, that was kind of it seemed against her will like her parents just took the child away because i think she had a baby out of wedlock which is funnily enough the same thing that happens with the original petrova doppelganger that was used for the curse, or not the curse, the, the vampirism creation, right? The, the one that Klaus and Elijah was in love with. I think her name was Tatia. But yeah, I really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun with it. I really like Catherine's story. She's not a redeemable character and I like that but at the same time you like how she acts and shakes things up when she's on screen and also we as viewers want to kind of see her fail and her actions make sense the way that she lived her life naturally created what she is today and the way that she acted always makes sense her characterization is very well done in that she isn't redeemable but you understand her and that's what i really appreciate about this character that being said that is all i have to say for this video i had fun watching this video about katherine pierce i really like the idea of the doppelgangers especially early on in the vampire diaries story and i'm really glad i got to check out this video by daddy nagan thank you so much for watching if you like the video please like the video comment below if you have any suggestions on what else you want me to see in the future and also if you liked the video and have any thoughts about anything that I said here, let me know in the comments below as well. Finally, if you want to see more from me, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.